Greetings and love and kindness, family. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare Educator and host of the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. Every Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Community, this is your time to share your wellness stories and how you move from disease care to conscious self health care. I want to hear your story. We want to hear from you. Join the conversation each Wednesday. Call in and share how you shift out of chronic disease care stress. Right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. This is Dr. K, and I am looking forward to our conversation. So call in and share. Health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. Come on, family. It's time to rock the world. With the new frontier of conscious self health care, why I share my wellness story with you right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. I know you're breathing with me. Take those deep, deep, deep Kundalini breaths. Woo! Breath of light, spark of light. Thank you for coming to dance with me. Take those deep, deep, deep breaths. Sit back and relax. Ah, increase that breath. Keep on breathing. Increase it a little bit more. Ah, hold it to the count of eight. Exhale now. That's right, family. Got to keep moving. Got to keep grooving. You know, when you dance, you know that harmony and peace when you dance. 8 1 2018. All right. Thank you for coming to dance with me. Thank you for tuning in so much. I do appreciate you taking those deep breaths with me ah and definitely through the week when we're not on the air that's when our energy vibration just goes out and permeates all into the air all the breaths we take ah, not only do it nourish the land not only do it nourish the trees it nourishes nature change the vibration in the world but it also nourishes each and every one of us ah, as we take those deep deep breaths and relax together and build a vortex of love. That's right, conscious self health care. Ah, I know through the week you didn't give your power away. You was able to take those deep, deep breaths and take a moment before you speak, before you give your power away. Because these are challenging times for people, so they think, and that's because that's what they say. But it's a new vibration. It's an old vibration, but it's a new vibration that's coming into the world to allow people to just sit back and relax more and take these deep breaths and keep your connection going with nature, keep your connection going with life. So I want to thank you for tuning in this Wellness Wednesday to the Conscious Self-Health Care Conversation Radio Show. And yes, I'm your host, 
Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare Educator. And guess what? You can become the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare Educator for yourself because you take all the information that you have and you process it for yourself. I say not one set of information is always true. There's some truth to it and there's some truth twisted with the lie in it all. And that's why you have to make your own discernment. And that's why it's conscious self-health care because I'm telling you what you believe, what you know, what you think, what you process daily in your consciousness from your subconscious mind is how you're reacting in the world. And if you will only take a moment to sit back and be still and just ask yourself, what am I really giving my power to? What I'm really getting frustrated about and why am I not able to relax and take these deep breaths and let it really mean something to my body, let it really mean something to my life. A lot of people say in the midst of frustration and anger, being upset, I'm taking deep breaths, I'm taking deep breaths. I'm taking deep breath, but the whole time they're holding their breath and they're still holding on to the anger or the hurt or the pain or what is happening in their life or what is happening in the world. But that's not how we shift things. That's not how the world shifts. That's not how energy moves. Energy moves in a steady flow and a steady frequency of vibration, and we want to be in alignment with that. And one way to be in alignment with that is taking the breath. And you know... I'm healing from what is known in the medical world of a, as a hemorrhagic stroke, and um, I'm moving through it with ease, and I'm moving through it with grace. And there are times when the body shows me a lot of activity. And I was saying that since we all are in tune, but some are more in tune, and there's been plenty of shifts with the moon and the vibration that's going on in planet Earth, and I've been feeling it all. And I sat back after last week's show, and I said, like, what is really going on? And I didn't really realize we was in this transition of this great moon and what was going on. And after looking and reading some things, I could understand why my body was going through what it was going through and why I had to rest a little bit. And so the activities are still kind of high right now. And like I say, with the earphones on and you're hearing the silence of the vibration, I can feel the vibration in my body and my brain expanding a little bit more, going a little bit faster. So I'm taking these deep breaths and I'm moving through this and I'm not saying that it's permanent, but I'm telling you, I am vibrating so much right now. (laughs) Y'all remember how I think it was on last week's show, how I described like the old washing machines. I remember being with my grandma saying, grandma, let me do it. She's like, girl, you can get your fingers ran through this machine. But I didn't. She let me sit up on a stool and, put the clothes through the ringing of the washing machine. And that's what the cells are doing right now. It's pushing all that excess fluid and excess sodium out. And at the same time, the autonomic system is showing me that it's alive and well and it's vibrating. And the nerves, I can feel it. The nerves is going on this one particular side of the body, the right side of my body. And it's stronger. And sometimes, you know, I have to... I just go along with the flow. I'm just telling y'all, I be laughing at myself sometimes because right now I'm back to feeling like that. Um, what is a not a xylophone, a, a unicorn, a, it's an accordion, accordion that you play in the, as a music instrument. And you know how it goes back and it expands. And so when I tap my feet, it feels like my right side of my body is doing that. And so I just take my arms and I just go with the flow with it as it goes back and forth. I get into a breath motion. I get into a breathing motion with it. And that's what I'm doing right now because the nerves are going and that side of the body is acting like that particular instrument going back and forth, expanding, getting larger, feeling as though it's getting larger and coming back to being small and my knee. All this is going on, but I know it's a part of, the shift in my body as it self correct itself from the activities of this cellular malfunction called a stroke that my body is going through. And I tell you, family, I'm actually blessed by it. I'm blessed by what's going on. I'm getting so much information. I'm learning about the body. And even though on the left side, I don't feel anything on the right side. I do. And I tell y'all once again, each and every time y'all say that um, you can't feel your emotions, uh, your autonomic system, it is doing some things in your body for you to feel it because I feel it on this right side when things happen, uh, when I see things and I respond to it and I don't feel it on the left side. 
that's one of the main things that I noticed. And again, like I said, with the nerves going and the excess fluid and the excess sodium, and it feels like it's like a tidal wave, the waves that you see in the ocean going through. And I'm amazed by it. And um, I'm doing this drug free. I'm doing this worry free. And um, so it's a process that I'm going to go through to allow the body to correct itself. And so I'm sharing it with you. And I'm continuing to do on the radio show. And one time I would say, well, let me just sit back and relax and rest at home. But I can do the same thing on the show as I'm sharing with you. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in, sharing this radio broadcast with a friend, and sitting back and thinking about what is wellness to you and how you really care for yourself. And not only what do you believe, because we know the old adage, believe you can, believe you cannot, either way you are right. So we want to know, what do you know? What are you learning about wellness? And who are you learning it from? And how is it helping you on your health journey? Is it helping you on your health journey? And that's one of the reasons why I'm sharing, and there's no other way for me to do anything in my life anyway but to share my life. So that's why I'm sharing how I am moving through this hemorrhagic stroke. So this is the eighth month. Um, I'm further along than what the medical industry told me that I would be. Uh, the month or two after month uh, after being released from the hospital, the doctors at Howard University Hospital told me that if I didn't do the pharmaceuticals and stay in touch with them, that I will be back in five months. And this is the eighth month. And I am just saying that uh, I'm my own wellness doctor. I take into consideration what each and every person has to share with me in their field of medicine. I process it for myself and I come up and I use what is best for me. And that is what I am doing on this radio broadcast show with you. I'm hoping that I am giving you enough information. The reason why I say hope is I'm hoping that it's a level for you to understand to help you adjust and make the change that you need necessary to make for yourself to get you to the state of wellness that you want to be. So if somebody is telling you that the only way to get through wellness is through the use of pharmaceuticals, uh, I'm saying that it could be if that's what you decide for yourself and it could be not because I decided that it wasn't for me. I'm going to share some information with you through the posts that I've put out through the week as well as years ago. And that's what I like about Facebook, family, because Facebook will come back and put them posts right back in your face <laughs> and let you see what you wrote years ago. And I've been consistent with the information that I share. I use Facebook and all social media as a platform to share the information of power of self-care, self-love, self-respect, how to tune into yourself, how to step up out of the dark ages of disease care. That's the information that I want to share with each individual to know that there is a better way. So I want you to step back and do some breathing with me and Jamal is going to set up for our first commercial break and I like the commercials because commercial talks about the services and the wellness tools that I offer for you to assist yourself with so we're going to sit back and we're going to do some breathing I'm going to see it looks like we have a caller on the line I'm not sure but during this uh, station break I'll check that out for sure and we may be having a guest joining us I'm not sure so family sit back Take your breaths. Jamal, I'll be ready for a commercial break. <sighs> Take those deep, deep breaths. Is it time for a new approach to your health care? Are you ready to leave the dark ages of disease care management and pharmaceuticals? If your answer is yes, Get ready to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care prescription plan with Dr. K. She is a certified lymphologist and Nest health care provider, sharing the new signs of information as medicine and cellular ecology. Did you know that the field of epigenetics states that you are more than just your genes and those genes do not control your biology? Yes, that's correct. Schedule a Skype, phone, or office visit with Dr. K and get on board the Friendship Train to Healthcare Freedom. 
202-248-7749. That's 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web, forsalelife.com. The number four, the words sell, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. On Support each other, and the best way we do that is by sharing a positive message of love, of life, and of laughter too. And so, you know, I'm the founder of Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, which is April the 30th of every year. We are in the celebration of our eighth year. Um, We have designated April as Conscious Self Health Care and Lymphatic Cellular Wellness Month. It's a month where we celebrate people and how they're taking care of themselves and how they move beyond the thought of disease care and disease mongering and pharmaceuticals and just dreading life, period. And so we're honoring ourselves on how well we have learned how to take care of the human body, not just during the month of April, but throughout our whole life. We have all these months to celebrate these disease mongering days. And all they want to tell you is that you cannot depend and trust yourself. And so when the universal frequencies of life came to me and said, create this day 11 years ago, I even challenged it. I'm like, how am I supposed to do all that? Then Bob Marley said, you can do it. I'm saying just add the line into it this way. And so I listen to energy. Energy speaks not only to me. Energy speaks to us all. And if we were to be still, we could hear that vibration. And so, again, this is our eighth year of celebration, and you know that we honored um, breathologist, Seiko breathologist, Ayo Handy Kendi, with the Shirley R. Davis Hardy Senior Weology Award of the Year uh, for what she is doing in the community, in the world, to assist people with the power of the breath and laughter and joy and her whole modalities and how she assists people and what she has done for her life. And, you know, we honored and we heard from Ayo Handy Kendi a couple of months ago. You know, we honored uh, Debbie Ann Literal Ventura from out of San Diego, Texas, with the Community Visionary Award of the Year. Same principle, how well she has been taking care of herself and what she's doing to help the community move from the old conscious state of health care to the new bioenergetic state of wellness and how we can shift that potential of that reality by our own conscious thinking. And the fact that um, she's helping to move people into conscious self-health care, basically how to better care for yourself with a set of wellness tools that we share together, which is the Nest Health Wellness System. Our other recipient of the Hadari Abdul Ali Conscious Self-Health Care Award of the Year is Brother Humam Abdul Malik. And um, he was not able to be on the Conscious Self Health Care radio show, conversation, panel show for April 30th of this year. And he was not able to share his wellness journey on that show. But he's here today, I understand, on the line to accept his honor of the award, the Conscious Self Health Care Award named after Brother Hadari Abdul Ali. So if he is on the line with us today, I want to say welcome and thank you for joining us, Umam Abdul Malik. So 
So here I'm not hearing anything. It seems like his phone is dying, keeps hanging up on him. Thank you very much for the message. That means he tried to call in and his phone isn't properly charged. And if he gets in, it'd be great. But I would like to do an honor with him as I did with everyone else by allowing him a full hour on the radio show. But he probably had time in his schedule. He knows when I'm on the air and he probably tried to call in today. So take those deep, deep breaths with me, family. And I just want to say I am energy and information. You are energy and information. At the core of who you are, we all are energy and information. Energy moves through information. So if this is so, why is there so much separation in the world? Like when we take that deep, deep breath, we change the frequency and the vibration and the life and the air. We breathe in oxygen and we let out carbon dioxide. And that is not a poison because it nourishes the plants, the trees, the earth. So it's a balance in our breath. So you want to think about that if we're energy and we're information, at the core of who we are, then that's how the body works. And that's how the body recharges itself. That's how the body heals itself. That's what we need to think about. So again, thank you for tuning in to this live show today, 8-1-2018. And this was the message that I put out in reference to the show today. How am I doing eight months after the stroke? I try to share that with you each and every week. Now I am in what I call Herring's Law, reversal. All the drugs that I allow them to put into my body, because when you go into the hospital to understand what's going on with you, there's no separation. They're going to do drugs, and they understand what the drugs are doing to the biochemistry of the body. So when I went into the hospital to find out exactly what was going on, they put a lot of medication in my body. So I felt like it took about two months or so to get the medication out of my body. Well, how do you know the medication was out of your body, Dr. Folks? How do you know the medication was out of your body, Karen? Because it's a process. It's a feeling. You have to learn how to feel your body. You have to learn how to know your body. You have to learn how to what's going on in your body when something is not right. So the medication wasn't right. I felt the effects of that. I've been drug free practically all my life. And so I felt the effects of that. And as it was shaking off, it was leaving. I felt it leaving my body. So I know that the medication for the majority of it, it has left my body. And then my body went on a healing journey. So the first thing I did through that healing journey was I did water. Water is a is a is a healing block one of the main healing blocks quality of water to shift the water in your body to change how things are working in your body so i did water and i did nutrition uh, good nutrition as a matter of fact i used nutrition from common sense bob tim morrow his combination of putting together herbs to work with all systems of the body and all organs of the body and i use a lot of his his uh, herbal products in the beginning to help my body shift and align itself according to what it knows and that is a part of my consciousness, what I know and how I think. So I think nothing but high-level vibrational thoughts about things. And I know for me and what I try to share with other people is what's in your consciousness is how your body is really shifting itself and moving along. And so doing all those things, and now my body is rebuilding itself. I'm not one to send people on a detoxification because the body does that for itself. My whole thing is start building the body up, giving the body what it really needs. And that's the process that I'm doing. And so now the body is making adjustments similar to what I was going through to let me know that my body was going through something. So you have to know the difference. And so now I know that the body is self-correcting itself on um, what I'm feeling now. Like when I first came on the air and I was saying that I'm going through this process now, but I see so much improvement in my body. And like I was sharing with y'all, seeing both of my knees now, when one knee was so swollen, I couldn't even see that it was a knee. And I used to laugh at these knees that had dimples in it. But I'm so thankful to see these dimples again. And I'm so thankful to not see all the excess fluid around my leg. My leg is no longer as stiff. Now, my muscles, because I feel like what happens with the stroke is that that myofascial system, that web in the body, it goes through the processes that it goes through. And I'm learning about a system that I never really thought about in my studies and really didn't get any information in any of my studies about this system. 
And it's interesting how when they talk about a stroke and things like that, they don't talk about that web system that connects everything together. So I'm still doing my research on it. And I'm going to be able to share with you the things I'm learning and how I'm going to move past this phase of what's going on with my body. And that's what not taking those pharmaceuticals is showing me, how the body works. I can really see what's going on and how it's correcting itself. And so to feel this autonomic center, to feel these nerves on one side and now on the other side if things goes on and seeing how the body corrects itself. Because like I said, it's a lot of fluid still in my body, still in my brain, still coming down in my face, still coming down to other parts of my body going out of my body through urine and through in, um, the channels of defecation and skin releasing things. So a lot still going on, but nevertheless, a lot of fluid has left my body because I'm telling you, I couldn't see my knee. My hips were so full of fluid that I couldn't distinguish the hip on the right from the left, even though I knew it was there. So a lot, a lot of fluid has left. And that's because, yes, I'm a doctor of lymphology. I teach cellular ecology. I'm applying the things I've learned over the past 30, 40 years of my life. And people say, well, if you had that information, how did you get into the situation that you're in now? And there's many, many reasons to bring about a situation in your life. And mostly, sometimes it comes from what people call stress. And I'm going to share with you some things about that in a moment. But I just want to just sit back right now. And I want to take one of those deep... <laughs> Deep, deep, deep kundalini breaths because the vibration is so strong. I feel it in my face. Haven't felt that for a while in my face, but I just tell myself that I know that things are shifting, you know, because nothing from nature struggles, people. Nothing from nature struggles, family. Nothing from nature struggles to be. Plants don't struggle. Nothing from nature struggles to be. So humans, please stop struggling. Please stop struggling. People believe that the butterfly struggles to come to life. And they want to help it out of the cocoon. And that is where the problem begins. We got to stop and be still. The answer is within. You don't want to help that butterfly because, see, this is what I'm talking about when you understand cellular ecology. The butterfly takes its time coming out of that cocoon because all that fluid in there, that fluid has got to come out in an even process. It comes out into each of the wings and it's evenly distributed throughout the body. Not too much, not too much excess fluid and excess sodium in the body. And the butterfly comes out of the cocoon on its own and it flies. That's the way the butterfly is able to fly flies high and is long around the world. The butterfly, the pretty butterfly that really has no color in it, but the light of the sun of the, of the creation gives the butterfly this beautiful, beautiful colors. And so we don't want to force anything. We don't want to force life. I don't want to force this process of my body correcting itself and make more things happen. So I'm patient. Even though I want to walk better, and like I say, most people can't tell that I had the stroke anymore because of the way I'm walking, because of the way I'm looking. And sometimes I ask somebody to feel when I feel like I'm like that expanded balloon and I'm looking like that blimp. I say, feel. And they say, well, I don't feel nothing and you don't look like it. But uh, my body is going through it. But I don't hold on to that vibration. I hold on to the vibration that I know that the body is going to feel one again, hold again. It's going to feel more like the left side. But it's a blessing because I get to actually feel the nerves and how they respond. And when you be working with individuals, you'll be telling them about how the nervous autonomic system is. They don't want to believe you. And so I work with the system that I was blessed with through this game of it's not what it looks like, even though I paid over $11,000 for it. And I wasn't supposed to have it because it's only for medical doctors or chiropractic doctors. And I'm not neither one of those, you know. Um, but the person that sales system actually sold me one and so i'm grateful and so i can use it i call it a self-gnosis exam because you get to see what your body is saying to you and i'm not diagnosing anything you get to read it as a chart that you can read and understand it shares with you about the sympathetic nervous system and it shares with you about the um parasympathetic nervous system and we know the role that they play in our body because the simple, the sympathetic nervous system is all about fight or flight. 
And that's why I'm not going against myself to keep my body in the fight or flight stage, because that's one thing that the stresses of the world put on the body and you don't know about, even though you're saying you're dealing with it, you're aware of it, there's still an effect from it. And so as the body begins to repair itself, you want balance between those systems. And that is what I'm creating, no longer in the fight or flight state about anything. And I'm creating that balance. So I have this system called the Max Pulse system. It's the only system that I can't work with you around the world, and I have to work with you in person. Um, and you take this particular uh, self-gnosis exam, and you can see exactly going on with the frequency of the vibration in your body, um, you know how well the levels of frequency is working within the body, the very, very low frequency, the very, very uh, high frequencies of the body. You get to see your stress level in your body. You get to see so many different points that medical establishment uses to diagnose and prescribe prescription drugs with. But we're going to use the same system since I was blessed with it. I was blessed to use it and share with you, and I can do it through the terms of letting you have the test and let you read it for yourself. self no six exam, you can understand it the same way you can understand when we do the NES uh, wellness tools to read the, um, the human body field of your body. These tools are excellent that I have available for you to see what's going on with your body. So I invite you to go to my website, Conscious selfcare.com one s connects conscious and self go to my website the short name is four the number four c e l l l i f e dot com all this information is available for you you can take your time you can sit back and read it you can do your research you can actually go to nest health wellness site um, to learn about the um the Nest wellness tools that I use, the My Health device like I have on right now to kind of like help this overactive system that I'm having right now. I'm loving the My Health device. It's one of the tools I use each and every day uh, at night to assist me. And when my body gets into this high state, I really look at the frequencies and see what I need to help balance out what's going on in the body. These are excellent tools. It keeps you in control. Uh, I'm as your wellness doctor. I'm not here trying to diagnose anything with you, but no matter what you're going through, no matter how long you've been going through what you're going through, you know the names that you have, I am telling you that you can move through a lot better when you look at your body energetically. And when you look at how the body chemistry is processing itself, you know, and yes, I was one that used to tell people how to eat. And I've learned a lot of things about eating and nutrition now. And I don't tell anybody how to do anything because what's best for one person may not be best for the other person. The body process, these processes are the same in each and every body. We will make some difference in our state of consciousness. And that's what we have to be aware of, family. And that's all the time, our state of consciousness consciousness and we don't want to struggle in life let's get that word out of our vocabulary and definitely the african american they don't like that name the black folks the black community however you want to call label yourself commit you want to let go of struggling and we're not struggling to come out of anything we're not struggling to get anything stop struggling it creates a vibration in your body that says you do not want what you say you want it's time to stop struggling and just start being and doing. There are no safe prescriptions for the health of the human body. There are no safe prescriptions for the health of the human body. It is written on the prescription. Believe it. They tell you in the commercials for the drug. Believe it. Trust what they say. Most all drugs say that you are a woman nursing and plan to get pregnant. Don't ever take a drug. Trust them. They are telling you the truth. There is a better way. The body chemistry must remove the poison to heal naturally. Like I said, I let them put them drugs in my body. I'm trying to heal my body, but the body had to shake off the drugs before it began to heal. So now I am in a better state to allow my body to continue to correct itself. But it's still all about a state of consciousness. That's how life works. It's all about a state of consciousness. Healing naturally may take a while. That's okay. Better than believing the drug is helping you to heal. It's just pushing you further away from your healing. Because I'm telling you, I remember in the hospital when I first 
came off of the medication, came out of ICU after spending seven days in ICU being pumped up with some heavy drugs. I'm telling you, I could feel them going in my body. And all I kept saying was, how many days they going to keep me in here? <clears throat> when is this journey going to be over here? I know I put myself in here, but Lord, I got to get out of ICU. And, um, I finally got out of ICU so I could really see what was going on with my body because that was the way I could tell because then they were intravenously giving me the drugs. It wasn't about pills. They was putting it in my body straight into my bloodstream. They were putting it in there, and it wasn't until I got out of ICU that I could gauge what was going on, and I would stop the medication, and then I would see that my body was trying to get well, and I would start the medication, and in my mouth, I was dribbling, and I was losing movement in my arm, and I was losing movement in my leg, and then when I would stop, my body would try to catch up back up with it because basically I'm healthy. Mine happened to me came through stress and through an incident of excess fluid in my brain. And so I'm telling you, making those adjustments that I did, I was able to move through it. So what I'm saying to you is I know firsthand healing begins once I removed all drugs put into my body by medical doctors in the hospital to heal that stroke. The medicine didn't help my wellness. It didn't happen from the medication. Things got worse on the medication. My wellness happened with conscious self-health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for self-success. You have to look at what you're thinking about. You have to look at what you're doing, who you're around, what you believe in, what you're processing. And sometimes you just got to let it all go, let everybody go and get to yourself. Too many opinions, too many people trying to tell you what to do, what they believe in. Sometimes you just got to sit back and listen to your body and see what your body is saying to you, family. That's what I'm saying to you. That's why I'm asking you to come dance with me because I'm going to help you hear what your body say with the tools I use and by the things you say. I'm going to repeat them back to you. I'm going to support you with helping yourself by the things you're saying and hopefully help you with stepping up out of the dark ages of disease care for the human body. And that 100% includes the mental health drugging. These so-called beliefs that people have are psychotic breakdowns and all this kind of mental stuff. The same way the human body, the lower part of the body fills up with excess fluid and excess sodium. Believe me, it's already started in the brain. And nobody wants to see the lymphatic system. It's from the feet all the way up to the brain. The lymphatic system is the purification system and what activates that system is the breath. And that's why I'm moving through this with these because I'm using the studies and the skill that I've had. See, a title don't mean anything. Unless it's processing and supporting you with your body. A title of a doctor of lymphology, cellular ecology is using that information, how to use that information to allow my body to heal itself. And so I know it works because I'm using it to move me through these stages. I'm using that information that I've had that I've studied for over two decades. It is supporting me greatly. So I want you to sit back and I want you to take the deep, deep breaths going to take another station break and then I'm going to come out and close the show with you and again visit my website there's a lot of information out there that's going to assist you with making conscious self-health care moves and how to purify the body and take care of no matter what you're going through but you got to breathe family you got to take those deep deep kundalini breaths keep the body purified by getting at its speed and power to that lymphatic system, it moves better with every deep breath that you take to help purify the body. And that's why the creator made it that way, that connection, because you have to be involved in it. And that's through the breath. So stop choking. Stop holding your breath. Stop struggling. It's time to take those deep, deep breaths and breathe. And that's why I love doing my show, because the body just calms down because of the good vibration that's in it. So, Jamal, can we uh, take a station break and then I can come back and close the show out? And um, just take those deep breaths, family, with me. Yes, electromagnetic sensitivity. Could man-made frequencies 
interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K. 202-248-7749. Visit the website for CellLife.com. The number 4, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities. Call Dr. K for your 15-minute wellness consultation, 202-248-7749. You can give me a call, and we can talk a little bit. Shannon, go to bed. Help you move from disease care to conscious self care. You can have that talk to help you change that vibration. So, you know, once again, I want to thank you for tuning in to me each and every Wednesday. I hope that you're sharing this broadcast with a friend to assist them. And no matter what you're going through, no matter how long you have been going through it, your body will shift and you can make a change. And so, um, again, I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks. I'm an author. I'm in the process of re-releasing two books. I'm in the process of releasing my poetry book, Tune Into Yourself Through the Magic of Poetry, as well as I am in the process of putting out, re-putting out my book on cellular ecology, The Science of Mythology. Those books are about ready to be released again uh, to assist people, and so um, look out for those books they are going to be released if you haven't um, friended me on Facebook or any social media platform you may want to do that and you'll know when those books are ready um, to be delivered I'm a bioenergetic pioneer wellness specialist um Pioneering the new frontier of healthcare using these conscious self healthcare tools that allow you to actually Read them and understand what's happening with your own body by looking at these tools and reading the information that's displayed from your biochemistry of your body and your bioenergetics of the body. Uh, another uh, area that I work in, I am program and service director. I am chief wellness educator for Black and Eyes, Inc. It's a nonprofit that is um, founded by Brother Hamama Abdul Malik. We are co-hosts of the Conscious Chess Program is one of the uh, main programs of the program where we work with youth and adults and our seniors uh, to keep their minds sharp. Um, we also have the health component within those programs. And so, again, Brother Humama do a mal he called for a national boycott uh, in July. It was from July 1st to the 22nd. And basically, it was about tuning into yourself, getting to know yourself better, honoring yourself, loving yourself, working on yourself, feeling whole again within yourself, and then coming into the community and uniting other, other individuals in the community to begin to do the things for themselves as well. And working in unity. And yes, Yes, um, in this world that we live in, there is a separation in the human race, um, in the reality of things. Um, you have the Caucasians and you have um, people like, say, African Americans or black people. And when you want to identify a group of people, you look at their skin color. And the most people that don't have the white skin color, we all need to sit together and work together. And basically, that's what the boycott is all about. Our hashtag for the boycott is... Um, the hashtag symbol, Black People's Cometic Boycott Ham. Black People's, P-E-O-P-L-E-S, Cometic Boycott Ham. Um, support black-owned businesses around the globe in your local neighborhoods. It's time to unify our efforts and buy from black-owned businesses. We can do this. So share the hashtag to promote what you are doing to uplift and unite the black community around the world, internationally, locally, globally, around the world. And there are people that are doing this around the world with this hashtag. When you go out there and you look at the hashtag, you see most of the information that's out there is coming from the radio, uh, coming from the Facebook live shows that Brother Humama do and Malik do. So my shows are in there and other people are beginning to use that hashtag to unite, to work together. Black 
people's boycott for life. That's what this is. It's time to unify and work and love and honor and peace and self-care and self-love. That's what we get when we work together and we support one another. Again, this is a national boycott. The hashtag is Black People's Comedic Boycott Ham. And anything that you see out there that's going to help support the people to shift their energy, to support themselves, to honor somebody, just share like our brother um, Le- Le- LeBron James just opened up his school. Uh, he had the money. It took him about 10 years to get it together, but he got it together. He's opened up a school in his home state of Ohio. Um, and I think that's a great opportunity, the way he has set up his curriculum and the fact that I think the kids are already started back to school in July. The more time they spend in school with programs and opportunities to support them um, and the longer days makes better for them in their life and their life structure. And so we want to honor things like that. Anything that you know that's going on, any black businesses online or offline, in stores, whatever community around the world, what somebody's doing through this hashtag, we can start being more inspired to support one another and get out of the mindset that we have been in for so long, this struggling mindset, this helpless mindset at the same time saying that we are uplifting ourselves. But I'm going to tell you, everything's about a state of consciousness. You truly have to look at life and how you are um, processing things in your life. And so I just want to say that life is beautiful. Life is beautiful and wonderful. It is never, ever mean, cruel, or unkind. It is always loving and good. So are you ready for freedom, the freedom that you already have, the freedom that you was born with, the freedom that's inside of you, no matter what someone tried to do to our ancestors, because they are all saying the real war is with ascension, with ascension, you restore it all. And that's a rise in consciousness to understand how you must think and act for your own well-being. And then you share that out into the world so that we can all stop living from a man-made mindset of human consciousness. Because if there's anything negative and it's not uplifting you and moving you in the right direction through your own consciousness, then you're living and working from a man-made mindset of human consciousness. So be still and ask yourself that through the week. Are you doing that? You got to take these quality breaths through the week. The quality of your health and your life will change when you stop living from a man-made mindset of human consciousness. Free your mind and good things will happen. Our thoughts are prayers and we are always praying. Our thoughts are prayers and we are always praying. Every thought that you think you must experience it. So why not get on it? This friendship train, this Harriet Tubman's ride to healthcare freedom and start saying the right things to yourself. I am in my right and truthful place at this present time in my life. I am in my right and truthful place sharing the needed information that I must share. I love what I am doing. I love what I am doing and I am prosperous and I am happy and I am healthy. And I am free to be me. Conscious living through living consciously is the key. Living in love and kindness. So thank you for coming to dance with me. So how I heal myself from cellular malfunctions, free of pharmaceuticals, is using the information that I have studied for almost three decades. Studying the science of lithology. That one field that the Western medicine decided to take away from medical doctors and have them become oncologists and create that field of cancer and start cutting out your lymphatic system so your body cannot purify and heal itself. And when that system becomes stagnated and blocked, your body cannot heal itself. And that's what my first journey is to support that system with the breath of life, breathing more deeply, breathing more in harmony, Setting back and relaxing and taking a look at things and not responding so quickly to things. 
And we're going to feel emotions because emotions are real. And when people do things to you and put things in your path to hold you back, you're going to feel it. So you express it and you don't hold on to it and you shift because nobody can block your good. You are the only person that can block your good and your health and your movement by how you think, how you respond, and how you move. So I'm here to help you to make that permanent shift, to understand what you are doing, and to live free. Information. Receive, process, and react. What information are you using? Information is power. That's why I actually come dance with me so I can help you step up out of the dark ages of disease care. It's time that we understand and truly understand what medicine is all about, when you need it, and when you don't need it. For the majority of it, you really don't need a family. So I want you to set back through the week, and I want you to remember that what Michelle Obama said, when they go low, you go high. When something is going on in your life to make you go low, you got to bring yourself back up high. When somebody's doing something, you see they're doing a low thing, you got to bring yourself back up high. The higher state of consciousness. You see, life is a state of consciousness. We live and breathe throughout states of consciousness. So we got to have a purified state of consciousness. And we got to think those things. So come dance with me. Anytime, anywhere in the world with the Nest Human Body Field Scan and that Max Pulse system, I got to do it with you in person. But like I say, have equipment, will travel. Just give me a call. I'll be ready to move and come to your neighborhood and work with your community. Whether you're in business, you're not in business, you have some health information you want to share, you want to expand on, whatever it be, check me out. Karen Khadija Davis, folks. Karen Davis, folks, that's F-O-U-L-K-S. Thank you for coming and dance with me today and making me feel so good. Oh, taking those deep breaths and talking and sharing just does something to my body. Now, when I get off the air, I might get a little bit more vibration going on. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to set back. And I'm going to let that cannabis take effect and relax my body as I take those deep, deep, deep kundalini breaths. And I want to say thank you for coming to dance with me. I don't know what Jamal is going to play. Karen is out. But I want you to know that you want to sit back and you want to honor yourself. And I'm going to tell you the most revolutionary thing you can do in these times is stop being a pond in someone else's game. Stop being a pawn, reacting, getting yourself frustrated, trying to fight with people, yell at people. It's not about those people, family. Think for yourself. And most often, that is called living out of the box. That's what makes us the individualized expression of the universal frequency of life. It's because we all have a state of consciousness. And what is your state of consciousness? Is it time for you to rise? Is it time for you to rise? Is it time for you to change things? I said, if you want to follow somebody, follow Reverend Knight, Think Economics. What are you thinking about and how is it supporting you? your family, your community. We do this together. Be just like that pebble that you drop in the water and watch how the effect go around the world, internationally, locally, and globally. Remember that boycott. Share the good news. Share good news. Share how people can shop, buy, black, work, support, and help one another around the world. We need to do this. And I'm thankful for the programs that we have through the Conscious Chess Moves program and working with the kids, uh, the children of such a young age. And we can see each year how having those skills of logic, of understanding, of looking at the whole chessboard. And seeing a game of life. Like I say, I don't play it. I play it mentally. My uncle tried all his life to teach me the game of chess. I know it mentally. I don't play on the board, but I'm there with the youth, supporting them in every way I can because it's a great balance for us. So, family, I want to thank you for tuning in. And remember, share this radio broadcast with a friend and check out my YouTube channel. And listen to old shows that will give you new information to support you right now. Peace, love, and take those deep, deep.
deep breaths through the week. show. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Radio Show right here on Interline Radio. It was a pleasure having you tuning in. Now, you must tell a friend to tune in. And if you haven't called in and shared your wellness story, don't you think it's time that you help somebody with your wellness story? Call in, share your story, join the conversation. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I invite you to visit my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com. Or you can just go to the number four, the word C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Leave me some information. I would love to talk with you. And once again, I look forward to you joining us next Wednesday right here on the Conscious Self-Health Care Radio Show. It's a conversation where we uplift each other, where we share our wellness story so we can help someone move from disease care to conscious self-health care. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to hearing from you next Wednesday.